we're in our field today on this beautiful day. We're trying to get 1500 trees in the ground today and next weekend. We've got so many amazing friends and neighbors who have turned up to help us. mountain and we're trying to stop the mining vehicles getting up to the mining site today. We've got chains, we've got banners, let's see how we go. No, no way. Exploitation! No, no, no exploitation! Gonna, what are you gonna do? I'm gonna stay here. I'm, I'm, we're protecting the mountain. Hey, you babes! Bit of a busy week. We've got 850 trees in, which is an amazing, amazing effort. That was such a cool day. And then yesterday's action up on the mountain, we managed to stop the mining work happening for about three and a half hours. And Linda got arrested and charged with obstruction in the end. She appears in court next week, which sounds pretty drastic, but you know what? It's really important that, that people are prepared to do a little bit of civil disobedience to stand up for the earth. So rock on Linda, she's a grandma and a local businesswoman who has just stood her ground and is gonna be paying the consequences, but we need people like that. I wasn't really that sure like what else to do in my videos. Okay guys, we really gotta talk about this. What happened here? So some of you will know that I haven't used shampoo and conditioner, I have used no toxic ingredients on my hair for seven, seven years, guys. Oh, and then I just got in my head this urge. Just wanted to have slightly, slightly lighter hair. I felt like doing henna, so I do dye my hair um, copper with henna, so it's like a pure, mushed up, muddy, natural thing that I put on my hair. And I do that because when Ramona was born, I kind of realized that I've got a little inner ginger who wants to come out. And so I feel good about that. That's all good. But I think all the years of it made it really, really dark. And I'm naturally blonde. And I just started to feel like I should probably have lighter hair rather than mahogany hair. I should go back to the original copper that it was when I first started doing henna. And it was kind of funny because I was having this urge to be light and copper. The dominant voice in my head was like, you can't do it because you're basically famous for being non-toxic. So don't do it. And I was just like... Hmm. You know, I, I never want to make decisions simply because of what I'm known for or what my reputation is. You must never let your behavior be dictated by what you think other people might judge you for. All of those feelings were going through my head. So then last night when I went past the bargain box in the supermarket and there was bleep for like half price, I got it and I went straight home. And even as it was on my hair, I was like, this was a mistake. <laughs> And so then I was like, I didn't go the whole hog, like I didn't want to put on that conditioner stuff that they give you. Um, so then I took a banana and I mashed a banana, which is what I often do if my hair is a bit dry, and I put it all over my hair. And then I put henna on it, because I didn't actually want to be blonde, I just wanted to be light henna. And I think where the bleach like just stripped my hair, it, it actually broke my hair like the cuticle layer of my hair which is I talk about a lot in my book all about living without shampoo it broke it which is what I know it does but I just momentarily 
was defiant against that information. And then the banana, instead of just like washing out, which it normally does with my very healthy, non-toxic hair, it just stuck. So now I just literally have hair that feels like straw with big clumps of banana, sticky banana all the way through it. Actually, it's, you know, it's light, which is what I was aiming for. <laughs> and it's definitely copper and it's bright, light copper hair. I shouldn't really complain, apart from that, if you look closely, I haven't had hair this patchy since I was like 14 and first trying out hair dye. There's morals of the story for both me and you. For me, it is, yeah, you know, don't F up your hair again, Lucy. <laughs> just the next time you have a little defiant spirit, just do what you normally do and read novels until 3 a.m. and eat Cocoa Pops. Don't bleach your hair. And the moral of the story for you guys is that every human will be a bit of a hypocrite at times in their life. Every human is flawed. Don't let anyone be your guru. Don't idolize anyone. Don't think anyone has it all together. Just let that whole thing be dismantled. And instead just go, well, you know, yay for humanness and for effing up sometimes. <laughs> Oh yeah, so guys, there's just a bit of a quick one today because this is a super busy week. We've also got the Ruth Beagle Hole workshop happening and you can tune in to a live stream on that. So go check out my Patreon for information about that. Check out my Patreon for lots of other stuff too. I think you'll like it. Wherever you are in the world, much love to you. Stay radical. Mwah.